Hello everyone, um, I am going to be putting the link to the description of, of where how to get the mod that I'm going to be discussing in this video, and I'm going to be explaining here in this video how to install it, and more. But I'm just going to show you the website real quick so you know what it looks like when you get to it. Oh wait, whoops. Okay, um, this is what the name of the mod is, Historic Mod Pack for Blitz Team, or from, for Blitz Team. Um, it says it has horse historical tank skins, hangar, historical gunfire, and loading screens with tank photos. Um, about more than half of that I didn't use, but you could try and use it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but yeah. Oh, wait. But you just download it, and it should end up in your downloads folder in my files. It, it should be... Uh, oh wait, no, I, I downloaded it, just go to downloads, yep, there it is, okay, um, so, it would be a zip file, but then you just need to extract it, it should pop up, just go to here, data, now, don't just copy this, and then remove it, copy it to the, um, into your game files, no, do not do that, it's stupid, don't, you have to go to inside the file, data, 3D, tanks, and then you'll see this. Now, this is where you actually um, get started. This, you just hold this down, or, I mean, you could just tap a bit. Uh, I don't think that'll work on some devices. You just do move. Now, just in case it doesn't work, use copy. Okay? Okay, and just copy it. Oh, uh, you know, I'll just show you real quick. Okay. So, you just copy it, go to where your Blitz is stored. It could be on an SD card that's on inserted in your device or it could be just in your device storage and just follow this download path which is going to be uh, or device storage which we're in right now already so we don't need to go anywhere then go to Android data okay and right here is Blitz because I've been using it a lot so it's like the latest thing but if uh, now if you have World of Warships Blitz installed you could get kind of confused with that um, if I can find it because it looks exactly like that uh, but I guess I can't. Okay, whatever. Um, so, people say you have to put in cash. No, that's wrong. It could, yeah, it could be run on some devices. But for me, I just have to go to files, then get data again. Now, some people just say you have to paste it in here, that's it. Which, I mean, sometimes, yeah, it works. But if you want to make sure it works, go to 3D, tanks, and then um, paste here. And then it says the folder name USSR is already in use uh, in the des des destination folder. Now, what you have to, what what you want, no, not not what you have to do. What you want to do is apply to all items, replace. Now, what this does is it replaces all the models currently in the game. And there we go. Okay, it, re it replaced them. Now, it should have added realistic tank skins to all, or uh, just to that nation. Now, for the German skin, since we're back in. Uh, the mod folder there's one skin you want to delete that crashes the game almost immediately uh, if you click on the tank now a scolder here it is the stug you have to delete this skin otherwise if you tap it or go into the game and you accidentally click it you're fucked because then if you try and go into the game it keeps on crashing 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 you want to delete the Stug skin, delete it, and then copy it and then do the same thing that I did with the um, Russian uh, models. And you, technically, you can just do this, and then you just copy, put it in the um, in-game folders. Now, what I'm oh, now what I'm gonna do now is um. Now, since there's updates and it deletes everything that was previously in the um, game folders, since it's updating, of course, um, what you want to do is you want to make a, a World of Things Blitz mod folder for it, um, which I made. Um, so, just put all the mods that you're using. I have a Type 59 uh, HD model, Malinovka map skin, which I still have to install. I forgot to install that. Uh, and a Himmelsdorf map mod, which I'm also going to show you how to do. You pretty much, it's the same thing, but you just put in maps and 
um, yeah, you just 3D maps, and then you just have to copy and paste this in there, and you should be fine. So you pretty much follow the same download path, but you just put it in maps. That's it. Um, and yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, and then after each update, um, you have to replace the, the skin mods again, because uh, that's just how it works. Because um, I think it deletes every all the stuff that isn't associated with the game, or in, in, in the base game. And then it replaces with updated versions of, well, GFX uh, music, XML, whatever. Um, so yeah, this was a really short video, goddamn. I thought it was going to be way longer. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, that was way faster than I thought. So... Yeah, guys, um, that was pretty much it. Oh, wait, there's one thing that I forgot. Um, sorry, storage, downloads. Now, some of these other mods that are in this, um, wait, is it even in there? Uh, download history. Wait, recent files. Wait a second. I'm confused. Because I feel like something's missing. Or I'm, or I'm forgetting a file. Um. Hmm. I don't know why I'm, like, thinking why I'm the way I am. Anyway, I don't know what just came over me. I thought I fucked something up or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be putting the links to all the uh, download paths in the description. So if you want the Himmelsdorf um, uh, skin, which changes the skybox for Himmelsdorf and darkens pretty much everything, then I will, and I'll give it for... Uh, and I'll give it... The, also the, um, link, actually, no way, I just have to give you one link for the mo uh, skin mods for the maps, and then you'll have them all. Um, and if you want the Type 59 skin, if some people want that, then I'll put it in, in the link, too. Uh, but I tried to get some HD mods, like, actual HD tank models, and I did, but they were glitching out. I was getting, I got one for the Kuro and Panzer IV, Gup. And that didn't really turn out well. Um, the chassis was going above the turret, and everything else was fine. Uh, I think the the modder screwed up with something, or uh, we're gaming changed something, and it fucked it up. So yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, which you, you probably will, like everyone has, um, I will be happy to answer them, and they probably won't be that hard. Uh, so yeah. I'll, be, I'll put everything, all the links in the description. Ready for all the, for every, oh my god. Ready for y'all to download and install. So yeah, guys. Um, that's it. <laughs> See you in this video. So I hope y'all like this video, because I've been getting a lot of questions on it. I've, um, I've said I was going to do a video like this, and I have, and I'm doing another one. I did, did, I did one on Blitzmodder, I'm doing one on this. And this is pretty much the same thing you do with any other mods but some mods might be different like it always say where to put this and if it doesn't there there should be an install video for that mod but yeah uh so i hope you all like this video comment like and subscribe and i hope you'll have fun using this mod oh but let me show you all um what the mod does and everything it pretty much offers 90 percent of realistic tank skins uh, in the game. It adds a lot of skins. Um, like, a lot. You probably noticed on my uh, stream that uh, a lot, like almost all my tanks have, uh, don't have camouflage on, which is because of this reason. Um, I don't know why the game's freezing up like this. I don't. Oh, right, I added the Blitzmodder hangar mod. Right, I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, oh wait, my Panzer isn't, my, P 
Panzer tank isn't... Wait, is it that color? No, oh, no, I guess... I could have sworn it was a darker shade of... Of, um... Yellow. Anyway. So, yeah, guys. Um... This is the Tiger 1 skin, which looks beautiful. Has the, uh, German... Um... Uh, German tank hole lines on it. Looks way better than the average t uh, tiger skin. Or tiger model. There's one for pretty much every tank in the game. Lowy, Tiger 2, E75. There's one for the E25, but I have camo on that, so. It doesn't look the great. Some of, some of the models are glitched out, but most of them, uh, about tier 3 and above, are all good. Uh, Gorilla 15, Tetarch, this one's a little bugged, as you can see, it's a little messed up. Uh, but so was the T2 Lights, and it, uh, that model fixed itself for some reason, and somehow, fuck, I keep doing that. Um, yeah, before this was just a black mess, now it's an actual, now it actually looks like a tank, um, which is good, I mean, it's good that it fixed, it's fixed itself. Um, the Fury didn't get an updated skin, sadly. I wish it did. Or it may have, but I just don't notice it. Um, the E2, T20, Super Pershing. Um, so did the T57 Heavy. That also got an updated model. Like that. Looks amazing. Love it. Um... The only tank I can think of that doesn't have, or tank lines that don't have models is, um, the T57 Heavy line in general, um, doesn't have any skins for the, uh, tanks other than the T57 Heavy itself, and the Chaffee through the T49 don't have any skins, but other than that, I think all the tanks have the skins, but the M4A3E8, strangely enough, doesn't have a skin for some reason. But the M4 does, so that's pretty cool. Um, what other tanks don't, don't have skins? Uh, the... no, no, no. Um, oh yeah, the Stug. The Stug's models, well, fucked, pretty much. Um, but that was crashing the game, so I had to, had to delete it, otherwise it would have kept messing up the game. Uh, the Panzer 38T's model still fucked up. Uh, if you... If you keep reinstalling the skin, uh, like just like us, like individually selecting this tank skin and replacing it again into the game folders, that should fix it. It fixed it with the uh, 35T, which was also bugged out before, and it fixed itself for some reason. Uh, so, um, yeah, there's a, there's a few bugs in these mods, of course, because. It's a 2016 uh, mod, and it's about to be two years old, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, but some of these tanks just have really lame models, like the Leo Rip. Uh, the VK has a really cool model, though. Sadly, after it just got nerfed, Rip. Waffentrager has a pretty cool model. A lot, a lot of these have cool models. Same with the mouse. Um... Even the second branch of the TD, uh, Russian TDs. Um, I feel like there's one tank that didn't have a model in this. No, that had a model. Ah, the 263. This looks like it doesn't have a model, uh, a new model, but it does. It's more clear, refined. Oh, and... Another awesome tip um, when using this mod is that you don't have to keep your tank settings up to high because the model goes over the tank graphics, so it, there's pretty much no difference in how the mod looks since it's not, like, tied to the game. So yeah, that's very neat. So you can turn your graphics down to low and the tanks will still look like they have, like, have the highest definition of quality. And that's why mods lag on uh, low... Uh, low powerful devices because they can't handle the HD or high definition mod So yeah guys, that's the end of this thing. Hope you all like this video um, 
now that I showed you all the, uh, well, how the skates, uh, skates, skins work. Damn, I'm horrible at doing this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope these skins really, really look cool on your tanks, and I hope you all spread it around the word, because I'm noticing not many people use or have tank skins anymore. Um, or use mods because they think, oh, Wargaming banned them, they, they won't allow them anymore. Well, yeah, that's a lie. Um, it's just, I just wish there was more people into modding like I was, or like, or like I am. But yeah, guys, see y'all guys later. Bye. See ya.